Hi, Libra, welcome back. Thank you for staying with me. If you've subscribed to my channel and waited this long for the weekly energy readings, I really appreciate it. Namaste. Uh, I've been like namaste in bed uh, for most much of the last several months. Um, but um, it felt like I had to take a step back and let people step in their own messes let people live their lives, let people come to their own, draw their own conclusions. Um, it just felt very necessary and needed for me to take a step back and not tell people what to do or, you know, prognosticate, tell people what's likely going to happen. Um, it just felt like also there were a lot of scary things happening where I was in New York um, that I can't talk about because the algorithm kind of deletes me, but you probably know what I'm talking about. And um, other things, you know, current events going on that were just leading me to be silent and just let other voices speak if they wanted to and let other um, tales be told is what I felt. It was just not a time for me. It didn't feel appropriate to do weekly energy readings, um, at least from April and May and June. Going into July, I had some personal stuff I had to take care of. It wasn't, I'm glad I got most of it taken care of. It was good, but it just was stuff that I had held off on, so I couldn't do the readings then. And also, I just intuited that August was a good time to start again. So here I am. Thank you for waiting. Thank you for the likes, the shares, the comments, the subscribes. I really appreciate it. It really does help spread the message. If it's beneficial to you and you feel it would benefit someone else, that's a good thing. That can't hurt. So um, without any further ado, and hi, welcome if you're new here. I'm a psychic medium. My name is Anya Briggs. I don't use any divination tools. This is just me, myself, and I intuiting the week ahead. For August 8th to the 15th, 2020, um, if you like what you see, feel free to subscribe, stick around. If it's meaningful to you and you think it would help someone else, that I really appreciate that if you share it. Um, and leave a comment down below if this is a confirmation for you. I don't know if this would apply or not, but this is like the fourth reading I've done for this week where there was a line from a song or a title of a song in it, a popular song. And this one for you is gray skies are gonna clear up. And it comes from the song, Put On A Happy Face. Um, uh, the skies are gray, not much more for the scales this week. But astrologically and energetically, this week um, could be a hard one. The feeling is just one more push. As in one more push before the baby's head comes out and starts to crown while the mother is in childbirth. Um, often the toughest push, this is the thrust that brings life to everyone. And the final push might be you literally or figuratively giving birth with creative projects that are your babies um, or otherwise. Just as an aside, if it's a reference to creativity, take extra steps to ensure it is protected legally I was getting. Um, copyright issues might be at work and other creators might be jealous. If it's pertaining to other people's babies, I mean metaphorically like a creative endeavor, literal or otherwise also. Okay, so it could be literal babies. Keep a steep distance back from them and don't cheat. That could be for some of you who want to, you know, Shadow Libra is what we're talking about here. We're not talking about an integrated Libra who's done their personal work and is, you know, sound in mind, body, and spirit. We're talking about insecurities, wanting to cut corners and um, take the cheap but fast route rather than doing the hard labor and, and looking at all the details and dotting the I's and crossing the T's, which I feel like you need to do. There's no shortcut here this week. You have to go through it. You can't go around it and let the Venusian um, love of equanimity and beauty and harmony, the obsession with harmony, quite frankly, the addiction to harmony, quite frankly, that Shadow Libra has, um, will not serve you this week. 
there's some ugly stuff that needs to be faced head on with Libra this week. And if you are doing your personal work, it, it won't seem like so much. It won't be that bad. Um, if you're integrating, if you're, you know, aware of your foibles and your weaknesses and your blind spots, you'll be okay. But this, this is heading things off at the pass, hopefully, if I can. Um, I don't know if this refers to cheating. Uh, I'm not getting like cheating on a partner romantically. I'm getting more like plagiarizing. So, um, if you personally were thinking of stealing intellectual property or creative property, like to the rights of a song or a play, I'm getting specifically, or literal cheating on a man behind someone's back, like with someone who maybe just had a baby, cheating with their husband or their partner. Either way, if that's the case, if you're even thinking about that, don't, please do not do it. It will come back to haunt you. This will not be some dalliance you can get away with. You will be caught. I'm feeling very heavily for at least one of you. That's the case. There could be quite negative repercussions quite sharply that could cost you your career and socially as well. Like people just will not believe in you if you think this is the week to go for it for an affair. It's not. Uh, and I'm not trying to judge. I'm not trying to be some kind of moral crusader here to each their own. I know that each marital situation is unique and different. It's not for me to say what's going on in your private life. I'm saying the universe, whatever the astrological um, configurations are this week, it is not a good time to try that out. It's not a good time to break into a bank. You know what I mean? It's not a good time. Sometimes maybe Jupiter is favoring you and fortune favors the bold, so to speak. You know, this is not that week. This is not that week. This week is to keep your nose clean and keep your eyes on your own paper and look straight ahead and not over here and not over here. Like this is not the week astrologically for you, Libra, to think you can, you know, cut corners and get away with something. You can't and you won't. Um, if you're thinking it's only one time it can't hurt, it will, trust me, it will. And you will wind up hurting or harming other people in the process, whether directly or indirectly. Um, the next five or six weeks for Libra, so that could be children of these people would be harmed psychologically or emotionally if they found out. You know, try to think of other people besides yourself in this situation, if in fact this is what you're thinking of, Libra. Again, I'm not trying to judge. I'm saying every situation is unique. This is a general reading. It will not apply to everyone. But if I can help give you some perspective, at the very least about timing, if you're going to commit these things, understand the timing is not right. I'm not going to judge. I'm just saying that's what it is. It is what it is. Um, the next five or six weeks for Libra are sketchy astrologically if you are sun or moon and Venus also could be playing tricks on you. So you also might not have the best judgment right now just because things are kind of flippity floppity with Libra in general, astrologically. You just may be feeling out of it or your judgment just might be off. Um, and you may not be seeing things as clearly as you normally would. Uh, so try to appeal to Saturn, the planet Saturn, the boundary setter, the big daddy who says no to anything that doesn't feel right. Okay, Saturn gets a bad rap for placing limits all the time and restrictions, but sometimes that's a good thing. And right now you should be asking, pleading, imploring for the aid of Saturn right now to show you where the limits are. You might want to look in your chart what your sign is in Saturn and see if that is combative right now with other areas of your life and the astrological aspects of whatever that would impact, whether it's your career, romantic, or whatever, what those signs cover, I would highly recommend to appeal to Saturn in your chart right now and see what that's about and see if it's diametrically opposite to your sun sign, or whatever the Libra is in your chart that you're talking about, or if this affects another person who's a Libra. Um, do not entertain fools. Keep your eyes on your own page. Do not cheat. It will be a mess for the both of you. Like the, the person who you are cheating on, 
or cheating something about or like it'll be a mess it'll just be a mess and um, it will create negative karma all around too there are other people affected by yours or theirs or it could be you know the tables could be turned we could be referring to someone else here keep that in mind so um, um, there are other people affected by yours or there if it's somebody else's sketchy behavior if this is about someone else people you don't know about like a kid so there could be you know a victim here who had nothing to do with it who could be impacted by this and don't do it if only for them and if the other person isn't telling you about this certain someone that should be all the info you need on how transparent that action or partner is and should be all the evidence necessary to part for deeper water away from this person if in fact you're not getting what you want from someone and they're they're like the lie of is the lie of omission for them like there may be a baby they're not telling you about because there seems to be baby references there may be another child in their life that they're not telling you about another family they have they're not telling you about i don't feel like it's that i feel like it's like a bit like somebody got somebody pregnant and there's a baby coming or a baby mama or you know they have that in their past and they're just not telling you that they might have a secret family or something like that not good not good you don't want to get into bed with someone literally or figuratively like that um and that action um you know should tell you that this person is shallow and they're insincere and they could do harm to you with that lie of omission in the pursuit of trying to make everyone be harmonious it could be the biggest harmful thing you could do libra so libra shadow just as a friendly reminder your need your desire your addiction your obsession with harmony might be harming you this week or your desire to look the other way with difficult problematic behaviors of other people may be not serving you this week so um you don't need those kinds of people in your life and you need to say next so with that i wish you adieu i hope you have a wonderful week libra take things slowly and into calm considered even fair consideration this week uh don't leap before you look and just um you know shallow waters will provide you with shallow experiences you don't want shallow people in your life and try not to be shallow, shallow yourself if you're shadow libra okay take care i'll speak with you soon